we think that you'll end up kind of with two worlds. So um, we see what's happening with centralized exchanges now where they're becoming or accepting uh, more of the regulatory frameworks that we're used to in the traditional markets. Um, so again, with backed era seed, we're seeing frameworks that we're used to seeing. But then I think there is a whole world um, for decentralized exchanges too. Um, Bitfinex is launching a DEX, Binance has a DEX. Um, and, and what's gonna happen is you'll have regulated institutions that will probably be more comfortable trading on centralized regulated crypto exchanges. But then you'll have prop trading firms, retail investors, and a whole nother set of investors who are very comfortable trading on DEXs. Now, DEXs have a way to go. They need better user interfaces. They need better volumes. Um, but I kind of expect that you'll have these two different liquidity pools. And then you'll have prop trading firms that can kind of interact with both. Um, so I do think that that's where we'll go. I know some people think that you ultimately end up with only decentralized um, crypto exchanges. I have a hard time seeing how we end up there just from a pure regulatory standpoint. You can have DEXs with permission liquidity pools so that you know that you're interacting with um, traders on DEXs who've gone through KYC AML um, standards that you, you're willing to trade with. Um, but I don't, I kind of don't think that's the path that DEXs will ultimately go in. It's continued to be a challenging environment for trading. Um, I think we're probably not unique in that regard. You know, 2017 just presented really phenomenal opportunities from a crypto trading standpoint. And then we really saw a lot of those opportunities go away um, the end of January 2018. And I, I kind of just hoped, you know, that it would come back throughout 18. Um, and we're still not really seeing it. There's not as much volatility. There's not as many. There's not, as much volume. Um, so we're kind of waiting for all of that to come back. And that's where I think it will be helpful to have exchanges like ARIS, Backed, Seed. We need to bring you know, new retail investors in, and of course we also need institutions um, to come in. I, I think Tim McCourt from CME had an interesting point though, that how we define what an institution is in crypto is probably a little different than how we define an institution in the traditional um, financial sense. Meaning that, you know, with, with crypto, we need to think about family offices as institutions, uh, crypto-only hedge funds as institutions. Um, so it's not necessarily, you know, our big regulated financial institutions, um, but there's like this subset that's emerging. Prop trading firms um, are another really good example.